I see Senator Brady is here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, and members of the committee. I'll be brief. I do have some letters to save time and support. Uh, so I'm here to speak in favor of Senate 107. I've been asked to file this and support this. A lot of my constituents have called and supported this in my business community as well. This is a, uh, relative to the digital right to repair. This bill will expand consumer choices in a current non-competitive market and subsequently save both the consumer and, and with time and money in digital electronic products. We did remove the medical part of this because public safety is of the utmost importance. This right to repair legislation reduces costs of repairs for end units end users by creating more competition in the marketplace and eliminates long waiting periods. And of course, I'm not technologically astute, so I just had to purchase a new phone because my other phone broke and it would have taken me months on end to send it to a manufacturer and get it back and be repaired. So I had to break down and spend some good hard-earned money to buy a new phone. But uh, I'm learning how to use it too because I'm not technologically astute. But uh, I do just ask you to support this. And, um, as I mentioned, for safety concerns, this bill does not apply to medical equipment. Thank you, Senator. And if your phone is still broken, there's about 200 people in the room. I think they can <laughs> probably help you out, including the one right behind you. Well, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of young people that have much more technological information than I do. So. Thank you, Senator. I just want to thank you for, for bringing this to my attention, for being a champion in the bill. And I know we've discussed this over the last couple of months in preparation for the hearing. So uh, thank you for, for following it and for having the discussion with me and my colleagues on it. it. means a lot. Thank you, Senator, for your testimony. Any questions? Representative McKenna. Yeah, yes. real briefly, Senator, uh, you mentioned not applicable to medical equipment. I know that there had been three standards of certification, and there were some uh, previous additions that were had some exemptions, but not all. Does this version have all medical equipment exemptions? Yeah, and obviously, because that's a whole public safety concern, that that was taken out of the bill. Thank you. And, and uh, I'm in the middle of a public service hearing as well. I'm cheering, so I snuck out. But if uh, anybody needs to contact me, my office is always open. We can keep you here longer if you don't want to go back. <laughs> no, I've, I've got to go back. There's important <laughs> retirement legislation we're working on. Thank you, Senator. Thank you to the committee for your time.